Today I decided to go on one of the most deadly hikes in all of the US. How excited are you to come on the dune? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is light work. Life. Easy. We can run this easy. <laughs> Alright guys, it's getting a little hard now. Oh, no, we still got this, don't worry. Ping on. <laughs> no. <laughs> By this point we realized we were cooked. We tried to help a wandering patron on the way. Uh, I don't really think he wanted my help. And then we kept hiking. We had two more miles left. We thought we were going to die. For the final stretch, we ran down as fast as we could. And then we got a heart attack. Once we made it to the lake, we went inside. It was negative three degrees, freezing cold. If you like and subscribe, I'll give you a $30 million beachfront house. Day in the life of an average 16-year-old boy. First, I start my day off by waking up at 5.30 a.m. to surf. I knew this was going to be a long day because we all got in cars and drove two hours away to the surf spot. After seeing the waves, we were so excited and we had to get out. After surfing for six hours straight, I got really tired and we went to Miami to go skate around. It was really cool. We found a bunch of spots in Miami and I hit like four different stair sets. Then after I was done skating, I went to the track and did some sprints. Then I went to the skate park and hit a skate session after a long time of not skating. Then I went to this super secret spot and explored the cliffs before I jumped off the big deadly bridge. This is the deadliest bridge in Florida, but my subscribers made me jump Ow! off of it. After shortly enjoying the view, I then took the 200 foot plunge. Little did I know I was about to get hit with a 10 foot wave. At this point, I thought it was over. About 400 meters out from shore, I had no lifeguard to save. This wave was so powerful, I was getting whipped around in the bottom, and I even touched the ground. As every second passed by underwater, I thought it was over, and I seriously started praying to God underwater. I managed to grab my leash and pull myself up, and then right when I came up, another wave crashed down. I think this deserves a like and sub. I almost died jumping oh, off this bridge. Bro. I made another video saying that I would jump yeah, off this, this bridge 100 for 100 likes. likes. Once it got 100 likes, I had to jump off this deadly bridge. But little did I know, this bridge is known for having the world's most deadly sharks under. Just watch what happens as my friend throws this fish underwater. It instantly gets attacked by sharks from the bottom. But I still had to jump off the bridge, so click down here to see the full video. Today I went skating in Delray Beach, Florida, and I decided to hit every staircase that I found. This first one was a four stair. Then I went for it. Then we saw this guy stealing a chair. Then I decided to hit the second five stair. I've never hit a five stair in my life, so I was scared for this. I quickly went back and tried to hit it with enough speed. Then we moved on to the next stair set, which I found on the beach. The ground was wooden and had some holes in between the planks, so I had to test it out before I went. And I was low-key scared for this because there was a lot of people around watching, so if I failed, it would have been bad. But then I jumped, and my friend's low-key an L cameraman, but I made it. Like and subscribe for more videos. Little did I know, I was about to be in big danger. Watch what happens. I was just paddling for a wave, and I did not expect this. It's insane how close I was to getting seriously injured. There was two guys, one in front of me and behind me, and they hit my board. They actually stabbed a massive hole inside the board. Like and subscribe so I can repair the damage. This pro surfer got attacked by a shark on live television. He was in shock. Watch what happens. He quickly got on his board and tried to fight the attacking shark, but it kept pulling him down. He started swimming to shore as fast as he could. It was dragging me. I felt like it was just dragging me underwater. And then all of a sudden my leg right broke and I was like... All right, <laughs> just start swimming. I was swimming and screaming. To walk away from that, I'm just so stoked. And, oh, man. Oh. Hit that like button like you would hit the shark. This could be the most insane experience of my life. Nazare, Portugal is known for being one of the most dangerous and largest waves in the world. At 16 years old, I will buy a ticket from Florida all the way to Nazare in Portugal where the biggest waves form. This will be the most insane experience of my life and I will do it if this video reaches 500,000 likes. How I learned how to backflip in less than an hour. Within the first couple minutes, I tried going straight for it, but I was just too scared and it ended up looking like this. After this attempt, I had set my expectations low. I kept focusing on looking backwards and practicing that move. At this point, I was about 20 minutes in and I started to get frustrated with every attempt until I did this. 
I realized people were watching me, but I kept going. Then I finally went for the full flip. I was so scared and surprised at the same time. <laughs> then I went for the full flip and you won't believe what happens. I think this deserves a like and subscribe. And that's the most unexpected thing happens after this guy catches a big wave. As he proceeds to drop in with the deadly rocks below him, the water is also very crowded with other surfers and one of them steals his wave. He is not too happy about this, so watch what he does. He snatches the board and keep watching because I could not believe this. He takes the board along with him and maneuvers through every surfer. He keeps riding along and then he does this. But his other board is still attached. So what he does next will shock you. Look how far he goes. This is why you should never steal someone's wave. Like and subscribe to see more insane videos. Here's how God saved this big wave Guys surfer. riding down the face. There's big rocks on the beach sticking 20 feet out of the water all over. So I ride the wave. I fall off. I come up. And I look and my nose is about 5 feet from these huge rocks that are sticking to the 35 foot tall white water coming at me at 20. And I go through these rocks, boom, boom, boom. I didn't know when the water goes into tight rocks, it whirlpools and pushes. I couldn't get to the surface. I would be right there and I'd hit my head super hard on the rock. Boom! Oh, and now I'm drowning. Like and subscribe for part two. Day in the life of a 16 year old bread chaser, professional surfer and content creator. First, I wake up at 10.08 a.m. Then I eat this protein shit. I brush my teeth, then I head out on my skate. I hit the gym. Then I head to the beach to surf. I had my dad record some videos for YouTube. The waves were all right. Then I go to the ancient cliffs of Morocco. Then I hung out with some friends. All in this world, I think I'll take thing. my wind. Like and subscribe if you're cool. Today I went to the beach to surf in the most difficult, stormy, choppy conditions that I've seen in a while. I went in the water thinking that it would be pretty hard to catch a wave and in fact I didn't even think I would catch one in the time that my friend was filming. I duck dived this big wave and then I got right to it. I tried to catch a wave but I quickly whipped around the side and then I actually got one but it was short lived because the waves were so choppy I couldn't really even do anything. Then I went back and we went fishing and caught a massive fish. Like and subscribe for more. I will jump off the Boynton Beach Bridge. I was walking along the shore until I found this. You won't believe it. How did this get here? We're going to check it out. You won't believe what we found inside. These stormy winds must have caused the shipwreck. Click the related video to see the full story. Right, so we're here at the track and we have my dad. He's 55 years old. We're about to test his 100 meter dash. Let's see what he could do at this age. On your marks, get set, go. That's good. I made a big mistake. I will jump off this bridge. If this video reaches a million oh, likes, no, please no. stop liking this video, guys. This young boy reeled in a fish as big as himself. Today, me and my cousins decided to go fishing on this beautiful summer morning. We thought it would be a chill and relaxing time, but we did not think this would happen. The fish was so big, it almost pulled him inside the water with him. We didn't know how long it was going to take to get it in the boat or even what type of fish this was. It finally got close to the boat, but we were really struggling to get it in. I think this fish was literally mutated because it had eggs popping out of its stomach. Once we got it in, the young boy struggled to hold it up, and this is an absolute unbelievable fish. Like and subscribe for more videos. Florida surfers be like, Guys, little did I know I was about to come close with death. I noticed something large moving underwater. I was shocked and I started paddling to shore instantly. Later that day, several news sources showed that there was large amounts of bull sharks in the beach that I was surfing at. But I still caught a wave, so that's why you should like and subscribe. You won't believe what I found. Where the hell am I? I'm in the jungle right now. Wait, it's the ocean. Let's go. No way. Is that right? Let's go meet him. Yo, it's Boca Boy. Yo, what's, what's up? good, bro? Yo.
Day one of surfing every single day for an entire year. The waves were looking a little small, but I still got out there. as fast as I can because I knew 60 seconds was not enough to catch one of these big waves. And then I realized that I was gonna be cooked because there was like 10 sets of waves crashing down on me constantly and I kept having to duck dive over them. But then I saw the chosen one. And then I went for it, but I couldn't even stand up because it was so small. Guys, does this count? Let me know in the comments down below if I should do another one. Little did he know this would be the last wave he would ever catch. After falling down on the 30 foot colossal wave, going this fast, it feels like smacking concrete. Then watch as he gets thrown over the falls of the wave. After this, he did not come up, and he went missing for many days until he was proclaimed dead. Like and subscribe to pay respects. Florida Jake goes hiking in Utah mountains. You won't believe what happened. When we first started on the car ride trip, I had no expectations. We're so high up, I can't even hear out of my ears. As we kept going up, I've never seen anything like this. Florida boy, I've never seen something like this. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I found this big rock formation. Let's climb it. Let's see how far I can get without getting hurt. Guys, listen up. This is how you get the special raven call from Bass Costa. That's my fellow bird. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, we found snow. Oh! Okay, the trip is over. Chat, I'm running. Ah. If you made it this far, comment down GOAT, and then I'll like your comment. Peace.